Seals of Asgard. I have come to pay my respects to Odin. Loki. And of course, I brought presents. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All-Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! Look around you, team. We're standing in a land very few humans have ever seen. This is the world known as Valhalla. It's where brave Asgardian warriors go when they die. Understand that the only reason we're allowed to make headquarters here is because Asgard has fallen, and they need our help to defeat Doom. Right now, we have two possible missions. First, the gate of the Bifrost Bridge has been locked and needs to be opened. Second, many of the gods are being held prisoner in Asgard. For more information on freeing the prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, take the path to Asgard or the portal to Bifrost. Sif, it is good to see you. Are you unhurt? Though I've suffered a few bruises from battle, I am fine. And it is good to see you as well. Have you heard the news of the fall of Asgard? Aye, and it saddens me greatly. Although it is no surprise to me that Loki was the cause. True. Long has he desired your father's throne. And now... It appears that he may have at last won it. Nay thee, I say. Asgard will be free again. My friends of Earth are strong and will aid us in any way possible. Let us hope your friends are strong enough, Thor. For never has Asgard needed as much aid as it does this dark day. You may go now. All right. I. It does my heart good to see you back amongst the gods. Hermod, my friend, I am pleased you did not fall in the attack on Asgard. Aye, but I bring bad news from the Bifrost Bridge. The Wrecking Crew has closed the gates to Midgard, stopping any reinforcements from joining us. Worry no longer, Hermod. We shall go to Bifrost and reopen the gates. 
certainly. As you wish. My friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these Jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead? Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory! I would ask a favor of you. My sword Dragonfang has gone missing, and I've reason to believe it is located somewhere near you. Should you find it, would you contact me? Sure. Stand and fight me! Certainly. The enemy has been sighted! They need help. Fight me! <laughs> 
I will not forget this. Come to me, Dragon Fang. Together we will aid Asgard in her time of need.
Let's together, team. Sure. This will stay in mind. All right. I cannot defeat this one alone. You should have surrendered. I need help. I need help. you are, you better turn around right now, because you aren't taking another step towards this gate. The name's Cage, Luke Cage. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna remember me after I kick your tails all over Bifrost. Hey, Wrecker, looks like someone new wants to play rough with us. So I hear. Well, Luke Cage, you talk a pretty mean fight. You know what you're up against? Oh, I've seen plenty like you before. Big, strong, and not too bright. You're the one who's not too bright, Luke Cage. Because if you had any brains, you'd know the Wrecking Crew has the power of the gods. Is that a fact? Well, this should be fun. Because I've never had the opportunity to beat the daylights out of a god before. You gonna let him talk to us like that, Wrecker? No, I'm not. So look sharp, men, because we're about to teach Mr. Cage that he shouldn't go around making threats. School's in, all right, but I'm the teacher, and you're about to learn a very painful lesson. Time for a little thunder! Give me a hand!
Good job, team. The gates of Bifrost are open now, and the path to Earth is clear. Your next mission involves freeing the gods in Asgard. For more information, talk to Lady Sif. Or, if you want to go now, use the path to Asgard. And you should be happy to know that having finished the Bifrost mission, you're allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Well done. You have proven yourself to be valiant warriors. The door to the Hall of the Honored Fallen is now open to you. Hello, valiant warriors. Welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen, where the courageous dead of Asgard feast and await the final battle, Ragnarok. Okay. You say so. I tell you what, life is sweet at the X-Mansion. If it weren't for that big blue ape guy asking me when I'm gonna leave, I'd stay there forever. I've got one last idea to get solid evidence against her, but I need the password into her shield account. It's either Ivan Petrovich or Dr. Inez. Talk to Hank Pym about it. Hello. This is quite the party they have here, isn't it? People are still pretty shocked about losing our teammate in Mephisto's realm, but having Weasel there is a nice distraction. Beast discovered Weasel down in the sub-basement hacking into Cerebro. Forge caught him trying to get into the X-Jet hangar, and Emma Frost found him trying to start up Wolverine's motorcycle. He's always struck me as a man who's fair and wise, but after seeing the Super Soldier Serum program and the Atlantean Outpost, I don't know. Has Colonel Fury lost the ability to know right from wrong? What justifies creating those bestial super soldiers or spying on innocent neighbors? I am a mutant. I was born with the power to affect the weather. It didn't activate until I became a teenager. Yes, for some people, a little too different. Take Senator Kelly, for instance. He'd like to have all mutants rounded up and put in jail just because they are different. Any time, my friend. Greetings, and welcome to the Hall of Valhalla. That is putting it lightly. Though we were raised as brothers, Loki has always held me in great disdain. I don't know. Perhaps because he is of frost giant blood. Perhaps he needed more attention from our father as we were growing up. Whatever the cause, he is a vile and deceitful creature. For many years, my father overlooked Loki's misbehavior, and many were the times that he tried to bring peace to us. But alas, he failed. My half-brother's hatred grew, and his name changed from the God of Mischief 
to the God of evil. Since then, he has not only attempted to destroy me, but to take the throne of Asgard. He has come close several times. Once, he switched bodies with me and assumed my identity. Another time, though it embarrasses me to recall, Loki turned me into a frog. Aye. My father once even imprisoned Loki in a tree. Of course, no prison can hold the god of evil. He escaped and has gone on to commit numerous crimes against Asgard and Earth. Fare thee well. Yeah, you know, this team needs a catchy theme song. Something that mentions shaking your booty. Mm, we can call ourselves Deadpool and his lackeys. And we can all get matching uniforms. Something in a dark blue. That color really sets off my eyes. Yeah, yeah we do. With capes. Look at Dr. Doom. He gets all kinds of respect. And you know why? Because he has a big scary cape. Well, there is that. But you can't deny the cape really makes him look tough. But let's go him one better. Let's wear elbow pads and shin guards with spikes coming out of them. Now that's tough. No, I don't think so. You know how people talk crazy because they're insane? I talk crazy to keep from going insane. If only you knew what I've got twisting around in my brain. Thanks to Weapon X. Yeah, I went there because they promised to cure my cancer. In a way, they gave me a healing factor like Wolverine's. And so many scars, I'm never taking this face mask off. I like your thinking, Sunshine. Hey, we could even form a band. Oh, heck yeah, just think of it. With Storm singing lead, Wolverine on the bass, and The Thing on drums. And not to brag, but I play a pretty mean bagpipe. I've got a rash. Want to see it? Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Don't make me laugh. A puny man like that is of no concern to me. Though I must admit, his stare is rather unnerving. Even to one such as I, who have endured the horrid sights of countless battlefields. I am Valkyrie, a chooser of the slain. My warrior sisters and I ride over battlefields and escort the worthy fallen to Valhalla. Yes. Here they are honored and can feast to their heart's content. Then, on the day of Ragnarok, they will battle once again and prove their courage one last time. I can see a fire around them, a death glow, that signals the warrior is close to the end. Few other gods have this power. Long ago I was allowed to roam the battlefields of Earth, and look for worthy warriors. But Odin put a stop to that. I am now limited to the battlefields of Asgard. Fare thee well, human. Hello, and welcome to the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Pretty fantastic place, huh? No, he's married to me. He might be an IQ point or two above me, but let's not forget, I've got advanced degrees in four biochemistry fields, and I'm pretty good at math, too. Oh, 
It all started when Reed was building a rocket ship a few years back. He had heard the government was going to pull funding, so he decided to take the ship up before the project could be discontinued. Since Reed couldn't handle a ship alone, Ben Grimm went as the pilot, while my brother Johnny and I went as additional crew. Well, the leader of our team is my husband, Reed Richards, who's also known as Mr. Fantastic. Then there's his best friend, Ben Grimm, although most people call him The Thing. Next is my brother, Johnny Storm. He likes to be called the Human Torch. And then there's me, Sue Richards, the Invisible Woman. It was no problem at all. Place? Never seen so many dead guys having the time of their lives. Me and Jeannie had something going on. Not exactly sure what, but it was a powerful something. I'll tell you. Who knows? Not that I stood a chance with Cyclops mucking things up. But now it's too late, ain't it? I'll never know what she and I could have had. They're mine, but they're made out of bone. I got this coating of adamantium over them thanks to the sadists at Weapon X. It wasn't just my claws, it was my whole body. My bones will rust before they break. And those butchers did it to make me the ultimate killing machine. They drugged me and tried to make me their puppet. Then they slipped up, and I showed them what a big mistake they made. But I wasn't the only one they got. Yeah, lots of them. Sabretooth, Maverick, Silver Fox, and that nutball Deadpool. Yeah, sure. Now this is my kind of party. Look at all this food. <laughs> Almost makes me wish I was dead. Me and Stretch was roommates back in college. Of course, we wouldn't have been if his first roommate hadn't have been such a yo-yo. Victor Von Doom. The guy took an instant dislike into Reed and me, which is quite a surprise, considering what an amiable chap I am. I kind of gave it to myself. I mean, look at me. I'm not exactly something you'd see walking down the fashion runways of Paris. Well, wouldn't you be? I got a face even a grandma could hate. Yep. After college, I joined the Air Force and got my wings. I'm not half bad as a jet jockey, if I do say so myself. Oh, it always comes back to this, don't it? Yeah, I was flying when the ship got hit by that radiation. That's when we became the Fantastic Four. No problem. Hi, Spider-Woman. Valhalla sure is something, isn't it?
Yes. This is a very beautiful world. That thing in Mephisto's realm that the X-Man was dropped into? They're like relief valves between dimensions. There's all kinds of energy flowing through them. Look, I know what you're getting at, but the X-Man is dead. Nothing could survive that kind of pressure. He's one of the few men who ever treated the Black Widow well. Ivan was her chauffeur, and later turned out to be her surrogate father. He had raised her after her parents were killed in a fire. You'll have to ask the Black Widow about that name. Come back any time. <laughs> Isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and introduce myself? Beast and a friend of his, uh, Forge, I think, had some kind of teleportation device they used on me. But they told me I have to get back to Earth pretty quick. Something about keeping a lock on me could tear the space-time continuum and I don't know, destroy reality as we know it? it? Makes me wish I was a mutant. Huh, they've got everything there. Tennis courts, a pool, oh, and a sub-basement full of high-tech gear. That would be great. But Beast keeps following me around and asking me when I'm gonna leave. Thanks. When you get back from your mission, I'll have some solid evidence against Black Widow. Ah, uh, you can thank me later. With cash. <laughs>